just feel like I would rather watch a movie where Ben Affleck, the actor, was dressing up and pretending to be Batman <laughs> instead of Ben Affleck actually as Batman. <laughs> like Matt Damon could be there and he'd be like, Ben, yo, we gotta work on this script. And Ben Affleck's like, I must have been to my murdered parents. Uh, Jennifer Garner was like, Ben, seriously, we have kids. Your parents were never murdered. I must have been to my murdered parents. <laughs> And, I don't know, I might be wrong, maybe Ben Affleck's parents were murdered, but, uh, if that's the case, I'm sorry, Ben Affleck, but I still don't want you to play Batman. Um, they're, they're working towards the Justice League movie, eventually. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the Justice League is, <laughs> um, for those of you who don't, I'll explain it. It's uh, a superhero team of Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, The Flash, and then they kind of rotate the fifth guy. Uh, it was Aquaman for a while, who totally got a bad rap. Um, the guy that I fucking hate the most, though, is this guy, Martian Manhunter, um, who was in the comic, the, the, the cartoon. Don't give me like that. Come on, I'm gonna explain why. First of all, his name. Martian, like, it's literally who, where he's from and what he does. Like, Superman's gotta have been like, alright, where are you from? Uh, Mars. Uh, what do you do? I'm a Manhunter. Oh, cool, what's your superhero name? Uh, Martian Manhunter. And then, he's got all these sweet powers. I, I, uh, wrote, I took this off of the DC wiki, because I'm super cool. Um, he's got all these sweet powers, right? Shape-shifting, invulnerability, uh, invisibility, telekinesis, intangibility, flight, telepathy, uh, <laughs> or telepathy, if you pronounce it correctly. Uh, Martian vision, in quotations. Uh, he's also a skilled detective, apparently. But his weakness, and this is true, his weakness is fire. No joke. It says, his weakness to fire equivalent to Superman's weakness to kryptonite. Exposure to fire typically causes Martian Manhunter to lose his ability to maintain his physical form, melting into a pool of writhing green plasma. Like, at least kryptonite's hard to come by. I'm just imagining a disaster situation where there's not some fucking fire involved. <laughs> Superman's like, Martian Manhunter, quick, use all your powers and save those burning children, uh, burning children, those children from that burning building. And Martian Manhunter's like, no. I mean, Mark Stewart's like, what are you talking about? He's like, I'm afraid of fire. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it, Martian Manhunter. You stupid, stupid name. I'm a huge movie nerd, though. Uh, there's this been movie that I love that plays on TV all the time. Fucking Jumanji, right? I mean, holy shit, that still stands up to the test of time. Um, I remember being a kid and being like super excited, being like, oh man, I wish we could play that game in real life. And the other day, I saw they actually have a board game version of Jumanji. So I was like, I'm getting that shit. That is a huge disappointment. Um, we literally, it's like, all right, roll the dice. All right, I guess we move our own pieces. Uh, you get a card, and you have to put it in like a viewfinder, and you're like, all right, let's read the message. Beware the floor on which you stand. The ground is quicker than the sand. And you're like, holy shit, quicker than the sand. The ground's gonna turn to quicksand. <laughs> nope, just says move back five spaces. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. Stop. You can't, you can't do that. And I understand that there's like, you know, toy lightsabers and toy Harry Potter wands, but that's like way out of reach. That'd be like if Star Trek had a toy transporter and you like stood on it and pushed a button and it lit up and you went fucking nowhere. Um, it's just full of advertising. It's just not nice. I don't know. Uh, I would, I'm totally in for a teleportation device, though. So, uh, I hate traveling, and I, I, especially in New York, and I just feel like if they came up to me and they were like, all right, we're going to test out this teleportation device, but there's like a 50-50 chance that you don't make it and die, or you can ride the F train. I'd be like, fuck it, sign me up. Let's do this shit. I don't care if my insides are out. Let's try this teleportation. You don't love to travel? The explorers. Uh, I used to love to study about them. Um, give me, what was your name again? Raphael or something? It doesn't matter. I don't care about you. Um, just give me an explorer from history. Any explorer? Uh, Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus, perfect. Because he's in my joke. If you said anybody else, I would have been fucked. Um, I wonder, I was, I was wondering if the, 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 the explorers got together before they went off on their journeys and Columbus was like, I'm going to discover a new world. And Magellan was like, I'm going to completely circumnavigate the globe. And then Marco Polo busts in and he's like, guys, I got this sick game for in the pool where I close our eyes and then I try and catch you and it'll be fucking awesome.